Hello and welcome to another Wilderness Tamed video. This one we're looking at planting bulbs in the green or actively growing. And this is how we supply them at our Wilderness Tamed eBay store. So this video will particularly uh, benefit those of you who've already ordered yours and are waiting to receive them. There's nothing more spectacular than walking through a spring woodland when it's carpeted in bulbs. A uh, show of colour like this, these snowdrops here, um, bluebells later on in the year, snakehead fritillaries, aconitums even before the snowdrops come out. So if you get a good mix of bulbs, you can have a good extended season of colour uh, from sort of December through to May. So in this short video, we're going to look at um, what to do with your bulbs when you receive them in the post from the Wilderness Tamed eBay store uh, and how to prepare them for planting. This is how the bulbs start off, poking their noses through in the early part of the year. This is January and this is a little clump of snowdrops. Now these are in my own garden and I'm going to lift these, divide them up and demonstrate how to plant them when they arrive as you'll get them in this sort of state if you've ordered them from us on the Wilderness Tamed eBay store. So I know this has come out of my garden but they come from the, the ground in the nursery as well that supplies you. And all we do is divide them out into clumps and give them a little bit of a, a rinse off just to clean them up before they're posted to you. The bulbs themselves divide naturally in the ground. Um, I think we're going to come across one in a minute that just divides into two. There we go. Oh, no, it's this one here. Is it? There's definitely one that I pull apart. Ah, it's that one. Bink! And they do that under the ground as well. Um, so it's it, you very quickly end up from planting one bulb to ending up with a clump of a dozen to 20 to 50 as the years go by yeah so this is all we do they're lifted out the ground in in an active growing state which is what in the green means um, and this I've used this clump just to illustrate how the older bulbs end up getting deeper as they grow uh, and the younger bulbs when they divide off they're sort of forced closer to the surface and you've got to make sure that when you come to plant them, which I'll demonstrate in a few seconds, that they go in at the same depth that they came out of the ground at. But it's, that's easy enough to sort out. So, just a few metres down the garden, I'm going to clear a patch of soil, remove a few plants, just to allow uh, a bit of breathing space for the bulbs when they go in. I'm not turning the soil over, uh, which, because that's unnecessary. I'm just loosening it off with a fork, removing the roots of ooh, things like <laughs> stinging nettles. Um, I've got GM Arvensis, which is the wood avens, grows in profusion in the garden. Uh, ferns and all kinds of other stuff. And I'm also going to dig out of this area some roots of Enchanter's Nightshade, which is a spring, early summer flowering uh, woodland ground cover plant. That's it in flower there. It's a delightful little thing. Um, but they're sort of pure white boot lace roots. I'll put them to one side and I'll plant them somewhere else. I'm just getting rid of a few stones, any other bits of weed or plants that I don't want in that particular area. And it's just so there's a little less competition for the bulbs when they go in. But to be honest, most bulbous plants tend to push their way through any other stuff that's growing, uh, that they're growing in amongst anyway. I think I'm actually going way overboard with clearing this area. Come on, mate, the video ends shortly. That's it, trowel in hand. So, we're sorting through the bulbs. We're just going to get them in little clumps of five. So I'm just making sure that the larger bulbs go deeper into the ground than the smaller bulbs. And I'm trying to match up that border between the white underground bit of the stem and the green sticking out of the ground bit. 
so that they're going back in the same way, the same depth that they came out of the ground at. And that's all you do. Shove the trowel in the ground, it's nice and loose so that's uh, easy to do. Lever it forward to create a bit of a gap and then slot your little finger full of bulbs in behind the trowel, lift it out and pack in the soil around them. Don't need to firm them in so much uh, as long as they've got themselves at the right depth. And you do the same for the, these are the winter aconites, so they should arrive in that sort of state unless you order them a little bit later on in the year, um, in which case you'll just get the leaves. The flowers come first. And snakehead fritillaries, these are stunning plants, but I'd recommend not in a woodland situation, put them in a lawn or meadow, um, and they'll flower from sort of May onwards and they're absolutely fantastic plants. They're very very rare now in the UK, there's only a few protected sites where they occur naturally. Snowdrops here mixed with crocus in a, a lawn or meadow situation as well and these, this is great because it gives the excuse not to cut the grass too early in the year and you know what's not to like about that. Mm -hmm.